it's a landmark day in the history of St Dunstan's. After 97 years, the name is being retired in favour of the more descriptive Blind Veterans UK. Many supporters turn out for the event at the Brighton Rehabilitation and Training Centre. Among them is President Ray Hazan, who was blinded while serving in the Northern Ireland conflict in 1973. Regrettably, and I say that advisably, there'll always be a need for Blind Veterans UK. Uh, as long as people are serving in the uh, HM forces, regrettably some will lose their sight for whatever reason. Um, but we have changed our rules so that even if you have left the services a long time ago and your sight has gone, it doesn't matter how you lost that sight, whether it be through age, um, disease, accident or conflict, you are eligible to join uh, our organisation. Leading a display team of seven Royal Marines is Sergeant Chris Lewis. Uh, we can be absolutely from the top of the building, um, just um, highlighting the, the, the charity name from St Dunton's to the Blind Veterans UK. Uh, my job here today, I've set up the, all the roping systems and um, I'm just ensuring the safe running of, of the actual abseil here today. It's, it's uh, extremely important, especially nowadays with um, the, the British military generally being involved with Afghanistan and Iraq. There's a lot more soldiers out there who are actually getting blinded in the line of duty and charities like this are extremely important right across the board. And I know many of you, like me, feel we owe a great debt to our great organisation because they gave us hope when we thought that blindness was the end of the world. And therefore, I can only say, long live Blind Veterans UK. Up-and-coming actor Lachlan Niebuhr, who plays blind Lieutenant Edward Courtney in Downton Abbey, is an ambassador for the charity. I think it's an excellent idea. I think after 97 years you end up um, needing to change something. Um, <laughs> but uh, and I think it's a very positive move for, um, for the charity. I, I really like it, actually. I think, you know, I think it's... Um, I think it's very patriotic, and I, I can't quite explain why. Uh, it's probably something to do with the, uh, uh, the Union Jack. If you know a blind veteran, you can help Blind Veterans UK to achieve its vision by encouraging them to get in touch.